Crazy hair and facial hairstyles were definitely the first thing you would notice about him. But as soon as he took on defenders with his incredible speed, impressive ball control and ice cold finishing, you would start noticing that those crazy hairstyles isn't the only special thing about him. He was a League One top goalscorer at the age of just 21, he helped Liverpool to win their crazy 2005 Champions League final and he also almost spoiled Man City's first Premier League title celebration. There is so much more in his story and I can't wait to tell you in this video what happened to one and only Gibril Cissé. Welcome or welcome back to the Vintage Premier League channel, my name is Drente and this is the fourth video from series What Happened To. Before we jump into amazing story of Gibral Cissé, first of all I have to thank you all for amazing feedback I got on the last video about JJ Okocha. I really really appreciate it and as a starting channel I need every like and subscriber so if you haven't already like this video as well and subscribe to the channel. And as a thanks to those that already subscribed, liked the last video and correctly answered that JJ Okocha's nephew is Alex Iwobi, one of you will now win this amazing football shirt. And the winner is… Sam Suvak. Congratulations, DM me please on Instagram at vintage.premier.league so we can sort out the shipping and stuff. And for those that did not win this time, I attach my eBay link to the description where I still have one more of these Okocha shirts and many many other legendary shirts, so if it's of your interest, go check it out. But let's now switch attention to the star of the show in today's video and that is no one else than one and only Gibril Cissé. Gibril Cissé was born on 12th August 1981 in Arles, France. And I'm very sorry for my French pronunciation. He started his career at AC Arles in 1989 at the age of 8. After 7 years at the club, he had a 6 month spell at Nîmes Olympique before moving to AJ Auxer, joining the club's youth system at the age of 15. AJ Auxer Sissé spent 2 years in the system before graduating to the first team in 1998. Playing for the youth team in 1999, Sissé won the Coupe Gambardella, the equivalent of the FA Youth Cup. After being promoted to the first team squad by coach Guy Roux, Sissé made his League One debut at the age of 17 as a substitute against Paris Saint-Germain on 20th March 1999. His first goal came at the start of 2001 season in a 2-1 defeat of FC Mets. He ended the season his first as a regular in the first team with 8 goals from 25 games. Gibril's performances for Ozer granted him a place in the France under-19 team in the 2001 FIFA World Youth Championship where they reached the quarterfinals with the players scoring 6 goals in 5 games. In the 2001-02 season, Cissé was the top scorer in League One with 22 goals from 29 matches as Ozer finished in third place and qualified for the 2002-03 UEFA Champions League. Cissé's form saw him make his debut for the France national team against Belgium at the age of 21, coming on as 48-minute substitute for David Trezeguet on 18th May 2002. The team manager Roger Lamer included Cissé also in his 23-man squad for the 2002 FIFA World Cup. France unfortunately didn't win a single match there and Cissé came on in all three games as a substitute without scoring a goal. Cissé was again amongst the league's top scorers in 2002-03 season with 14 goals. He also scored 6 goals in 6 matches in Auxerre's successful Coupe de France campaign, including both goals in the semi-final defeat of Stadren and the equaliser in 2003 Coupe de France final victory over PSG. The 2003-04 proved to be Cissé's most successful goalscoring season for Auxerre. He scored 30 goals in all competitions, including 26 in League One, to win the Golden Boot for the second time. He was flying and scored many spectacular goals in a season that happened to be his last in Ozer's shirt. Overall, Cissé scored 90 goals and added 5 assists in 169 games for Ozer in all competitions, which was very impressive. Liverpool FC 
Cissé signed for Liverpool FC in a deal worth over £14 million in the summer of 2004. In his first season in England, Cissé scored three goals in his first 19 games in all competitions before a freak accident occurred while playing against Blackburn Rovers on 30th October 2004. While Cissé and Blackburn's J. Mac Evely were challenging for the ball, Cissé tried to cover the ball but his legs snapped. This resulted in a broken tibia and fibula and physio Daryl Martin said it could take 6 to 9 months for a recovery and the absolute worst case scenario is 18 months. Cissé later revealed that had it not been for prompt attention from the trainers at the stadium, he would probably have lost his leg below the knee. Reflecting on the painful incident last year, he told TalkSport that I had a fracture and the bone snapped and came on the top of the other, my blood circulation was not working and reaching my foot. The doctor said to me, I'm going to have to reduce the fracture. I didn't know what he was talking about so I just said do what you have to do. He counted to three and pulled my leg. Everything went fine and I think some months after I said, why did you do this? He said, your blood circulation at your foot was irrigated. I don't know if this is the right word. He said, after 30 minutes to an hour, it would have to be amputated. So thanks to the dog. He had pins inserted in the leg and was expected to be out of action for the rest of the 2004-05 season. However, in an unexpected return, Cissé was able to come on as a 75-minute substitute in the second leg of Liverpool's Champions League quarter-final tie with Juventus on 13th April 2005. He went on to score both Liverpool goals in their last Premiership match of the season, a 2-1 win over Aston Villa and also converted a penalty in Liverpool's penalty shootout win over AC Milan in the Champions League final. Cissé finished his first season with Liverpool with 25 games, scoring 5 goals in all competitions. During the 2005-06 season, Liverpool manager Rafa Benitez deployed Cissé on the right wing on numerous occasions. While his pace made him well suited to such a role, it was doubtful whether he would be happy to continue in his role rather than in his preferred position as a striker. He scored two goals as Liverpool won the 2005 UEFA Super Cup. Cissé also scored Liverpool's opening goal in the 2006 FA Cup final with a sliding shot past West Ham United keeper Shaka Hislop. Liverpool went on to win 3-1 on penalties. He ended the 2005-06 season with 19 goals in all competitions, but that would not be enough to prevent Benitez looking elsewhere for attacking options. Dirk Kite and Craig Bellamy were brought in and immediately placed above Cissé in the pecking order. So much so, Cissé was sent out on loan back to France with Olympique Marseille. Speaking to 442 in 2020, Cissé revealed he never wanted to leave Anfield at all. He said that even though he scored in the first game under new manager Rafa Benitez, things slowed down for him and it was tough. He had a 5-year contract and wanted to see it out, but Rafa had different ideas and eventually signed Torres. That's football, although I wish I'd been given a bit more time, Cissé added. Overall, Cissé scored 24 goals and added 5 assists in 82 games in all competitions for Liverpool FC. Olympic Marseille From the summer of 2005, the media had linked Cissé with a move away from Anfield. Speculation intensified as the season went on. In early June 2006, it was reported that a transfer to Olympique de Marseille had been agreed. Cissé was then named in France squad for the 2006 FIFA World Cup tournament in Germany, but in their final warm-up match against China on 7 June 2006, he suffered another horrific broken leg. Only 10 minutes into the game, he was knocked off balance by the China captain Zheng Ji and fell with his leg twisted under him. It's so tough to hear Gibril scream like that, said fellow French striker Thierry Henry. You lose a teammate and also a friend. But he's tough, he will come back. He needed immediate surgery to repair his open fractured tibia, so he was out of tournament. It was thought that even though a relatively quick recovery was expected, Cissé's transfer would be postponed until at least the January transfer window. However, the two teams agreed on a loan deal in July 2006. 
Cissé made his return to training on 20th October 2006 and scored his first goal for Olympic Marseille on 22nd December 2006 when they beat AS Saint-Étienne 2-1. With only 4 goals in 14 appearances by April, Cissé's performances were drawing such criticism that former player Jean-Pierre Papin urged Cissé's critics to be more patient while the striker recovered from his career-threatening injury. Despite the slow start, Cissé managed to score 4 goals in his final 7 league appearances to finish with 8 goals in 21 league matches, helping Marseille to finish 2nd in the 2006-07 season with a qualification for Champions League football next year. On 12 May 2007, he scored 2 goals in the French Cup final against Sochaux, although Marseille still lost the match 5-4 on penalties after a 2-2 stalemate after extra time following a late equaliser by another Liverpool player on loan, Anthony Letalek. On 7 July 2007, Marseille's president Pape Diouf announced that the club had struck a deal with Liverpool to sign Cissé permanently for an estimated fee of 8 million euros. But as the season progressed, Cissé was subsequently linked with a return to the English Premier League with Blackburn, Wigan, Tottenham, Portsmouth, Bolton and Man City said to be interested. On 26 January 2008, Cissé scored a hat-trick in Marseille's 6-1 win against Caen. Cissé ended 2007-08 season with Marseille playing 50 games and scoring 22 goals in all competitions. Overall, he played 80 games and scored 37 goals with 9 assists in all competitions for Olympic Marseille. Sunderland on 20th August 2008, Cissé secured a loan switch to Premier League club Sunderland. At the same ground where he had scored on his Liverpool debut, Cissé scored the winning header on his debut for Sunderland against Tottenham to make it 2-1 for the Black Cats. A few days later, Cissé announced his desire to secure a permanent deal with the club. Manager Roy Keane also expressed his desire to sign Cissé, telling the news of the world, I'd be happy to break the transfer record if Gibral's doing the business. In the Tyneware Derby, Cissé scored his third Sunderland goal on 25th October 2008, with Sunderland winning 2-1. After scoring in a 4-1 victory against Hull, Cissé stated that despite the departure of Roy Keane from Sunderland, he still wished to complete a permanent move to the club. On 18th April 2009, Cissé scored his 10th league goal of the season in a 1-0 victory over Hull City at the Stadium of Light. On 24th May, it was confirmed that Sunderland would not be taking up the option to sign Cissé permanently, and he subsequently returned to Marseille. He appeared in 38 games, scoring 11 goals plus 2 assists in all competitions for Sunderland. Panathinaikos On 25th June 2009, Cissé signed a 4-year contract with Panathinaikos. It was reported that the player would earn 2.5 million euros per year, while French club Marseille would get an estimated 8 million euros as a transfer fee. The total cost of the transfer was about 20 million euros, taking into account the various bonuses. He scored his first goal in Greece against Ergotelis and soon he became the new leader of the team. He was the Super League top scorer for the 2009-10 season, leading his team to win the double. In his first year in Greece, Cissé scored 23 goals in 28 matches. On 11th May 2010, he was included by manager Raymond Domenech in France's final 23-match squad for the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. On 22nd June, he was in France starting 11 for the team's final game of the group stage versus South Africa. Cissé's performances made Panathinaikos fans love him. He had stated that after making the double in Greece, he would love to play again in the Champions League with Panathinaikos and looking for a successful season also in Greece. On 30th October 2010, he scored two goals in the derby of the eternal enemies against arch rivals Olympiakos in a 2-1 home win. At the MVP award ceremony for the 8th fixture, Cissé said I am not only a player of Panathinaikos, but I am also a fan. 
in the new season, he has already scored 18 goals in 20 matches in the Greek league and one goal in a Greek cup. He was also the team captain of Panathinaikos and the most valuable player of the club. On 19th February 2011, Olympiakos beat Panathinaikos 2-1 in Karaiskaki Stadium after a controversial game. After the game, Cissé had a wrangle with Olympiakos president Evangelos Marinakis, who also used homophobic slurs against Cissé. He was beaten by Olympiakos fans and stated that he was going to appeal to the UEFA. He stated also that he had lost his patience with the questionable refereeing in Greece. I will make my decisions, but believe me, I've had enough. I can't go on under these conditions. One month later, Cissé reached 50 goals as a Panathinaikos player in domestic and European competitions. He celebrated this goal by wearing a t-shirt of Panathinaikos supporters group Gate 13. Cissé finished his time at Panathinaikos playing 89 games and scoring 55 goals plus 16 assists in all competitions. Lazio Cissé was transferred to Serie A club Lazio on 12 July 2011 for 5.8 million euros. He signed a four-year contract with the Italian side. He made his debut in a UEFA Europa League match against FK Robotnički on 18th August, scoring two goals in a 6-0 win for the home side. Cissé scored his only league goal for Lazio on his league debut in a 2-2 draw with Milan at the San Siro on 9th September. He finished his time at Lazio scoring 5 goals plus 8 assists in 27 matches in all competitions. Queen's Park Rangers On 31st January 2012, Cissé signed a two and a half year deal with Queen's Park Rangers for 5 million euros. He was Mark Hughes' fourth signing since taking over as manager. He scored on his debut against Aston Villa in a 2-2 draw at Villa Park on 1st February. He was then given a straight red card in his second game for violent conduct when he reacted to a late challenge by Wolverhampton Wanderers player Roger Johnson by grabbing Johnson by the throat. With QPR down to 10 men, they went on to lose the game 2-1. On 21st March 2012, Cissé scored QPR's equalizing goal in 3-2 victory against his former club Liverpool. Three days later, he was sent off for the second time in his first five games for QPR when he received a straight red card for a two-footed tackle on Sunderland's Fraser Campbell. He then returned from suspension on 29th April 2012 and scored a late consolidation goal against Chelsea in a 6-1 loss at Stamford Bridge. Cissé went on to score his fifth goal in seven matches to win the match against Stoke City. On 13th May 2012, Cissé scored the goal to make it 1-1 against Manchester City. This was his sixth goal in eight matches for QPR. QPR went on to lose the match 3-2 as City scored two goals in stoppage time but avoided relegation as Bolton succumbed to a 2-2 draw at Stoke. Cissé picked the number 9 for his jersey and scored his first goal in the 2012-13 season in a 3-2 loss against Reading in the League Cup and his first Premier League goal of the season also against Reading on 4th November. In January 2013, he joined Qatari club Al Rafa on loan until the end of the season. His loan ended on 30th June and he made 17 appearances and scored 5 goals in all competitions for Al Rafa. Cissé left QPR by mutual consent on 28th June 2013. He finished his spell at QPR with 10 goals and 1 assist in 29 games in all competitions later career. On 3rd July 2013, Cissé signed a one-year contract plus one in option with Kuban Krasnodar on a free transfer. He managed to score five times and assisted once in 25 matches in all competitions. On 1st January 2014, he signed an 18-month deal with SC Bastia. In one and a half seasons with Bastia, Cissé scored six goals and added four assists in 27 matches in all competitions. 
In June 2015, Cissé signed for San Peroa of the Reunion Premier League on a month-long contract starting in September of that year. He played one game for the club before announcing his retirement on 20th October 2015. He stated that the reason for his retirement from football at the age of 34 was his injury. On 4th July 2017, Cissé returned to football after signing with Swiss side Iverdon. Iverdon Sport played in the third tier of Swiss football and Gibril managed to score 24 goals in 29 league games that season. In May 2020, Cissé announced his intention to come out of retirement as he wanted to score 4 more goals in League 1 to reach the mark of 100. In April 2021, Cissé joined American side Panathinaikos Chicago ahead of the 2021 National Premier Soccer League season. In 2023, he joined Spanish 7 aside time Los Troncos FC of the Kings League. After career In 2017, Gibril stated that he retired from football to focus on his DJ career. He was always fond and passionate about being DJ. At the time of leaving Panathinaikos, Cissé celebrated a farewell party with himself as a DJ. Moreover, Gibril had already performed in many national as well as international events. His tracks can be found on many video and music streaming platforms. Cissé had also a cameo role in French action comedy film Taxi 4, featuring in a high-speed driving scene. What a legend! Cissé has his own clothing range and fragrance branded Mr. Lenoir. In 2015, he participated in season 6 of Dance avec le Ston, the French version of Dancing with the Stars. In 2021, he took part in the second season of Masked Singer, disguised as a skeleton. So yeah, this was what happened to Gibril Cissé. Used to be a football player, now a proper DJ. Not bad career at all. Despite his horrible injuries, he overcame many obstacles and entertained us with his crazy hairstyles and celebrations. One of my favorite players. So I hope you liked this video. If yes, then like it. And if you would like to win this Liverpool FC 2405 away Gibral Cissé shirt as today's giveaway, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video and let me know in the comment section which Premier League team's title party was almost ruined by Gibral Cissé's goal. In the next video I will pick one lucky person with the correct answer in the comment section that will win this shirt. And with that being said, that's everything from me for this video, thank you all for watching and see you next time!